everybody's doing the sexy spring list, but I want to know what you guys like. It's always me in front of the camera recommending something. Yo, you got to try this fragrance because maybe it smells dope on me. Or yo, you got to try this because it's a new release. Or this budget cheapy option is absolutely phenomenal. But I'm in front of the camera being able to provide you with that information. So I like to reverse the roles. I went on the community board and asked you guys, yo, what are your sexiest springtime options that you would recommend to someone else? And who knows, maybe there's a recommendation that'll re-spark an interest of a spring scent that maybe I left off one of my lists. So let's roll my music so I can put you on to 10 sexy spring scents selected by you. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 b 3 We got 10 selections that are viewers' choices indicating, yo, these are the fly spring scents that you should be wearing. And that list is really nice and quite versatile. So let's jump right into the list with Goliath the Great indicating three fragrances, but the first one mentioned is the one that I'm going to focus on because if it was the first thing that came to mind, then it has to be that good and I'm going to agree with you. And that fragrance was Creed Arolfa, an absolute sleeper gem in the Creed lineup. I want to say that this is probably one of the most underrated freshies in the niche game. It's a musky tart citrus fragrance with an abundance of power or at least the old batches did. I've used this reference on different videos before. Creed Orolfo was one of the fragrances that I wore many moons ago clubbing. We went to the VIP section in a private elevator while security was escorting anybody who purchased the table. I was wearing this in the elevator and I was getting compliments from opposing VIP club goers on this Creed Orolfo fragrance. They were just like, yo, this shit is fire. What is it? Da -da -da. And that was like the first like, damn, really? Really? I just liked it because it was a freshie that performed extraordinarily well in this humid, hot weather. But if I'm getting compliments from people in the VIP spot thinking I'm Big Dick Willie, then maybe that happened for Goliath the Great. So Creed Orolfa might be a springtime gem that you want to look into next one. So Anthony Concepcion's option is a phenomenal choice. And I hope that you got that recommendation off my channel because the fragrance is Guerlain Lome Ideal Cologne. What a sleeper of fresh almondy goodness. Underrated as fuck. Oh my god! Wow! That shit is so fly and difficult to find. I think it's discontinued and if you can find it on the green market, it's a little bit marked up, but nothing or no one is going to smell like you rocking that fragrance. An absolute gem of musky sour citruses, but with such a rich, nutty, bold scent. Only Guerlain does these almondy nutty notes so good. That one is an absolute gem, and you, sir, picked an amazing spring fragrance that if you have the bread to spend, or if you can find it, I highly suggest you do next one. EMR111 said Dior Omen Tense. Hmm. Would I consider that a spring fragrance? Two very boring minutes later. Yeah, you could definitely pull it off in the spring. The spring, or at least in the East Coast, is wild bipolar. Like the Northeast is cold one minute, it's hot the next, you're sweating, you're humid, and then you're freezing your nuts off. You left your jacket in your car because you was walking around for two blocks and then it was perfectly good and now it's absolutely freezing and it might just snow. So having that DHI element might pull it off as it does have elements of brightness, even though it leans a little bit more darker, powderier, but I can see that versus versatility with the fluctuation of springtime temperatures. And I mean, let's be clear, the DHI Sen profile is one that hits and hits well. I go the parfum concentration, but hey, that's just me. Next one. What's the T said Goldfield and Banks Ingenious Ginger. I am a ginger fan. I recall smelling the fragrance, but I don't necessarily remember it exactly. Like I remember either having a bottle or having a sample, but I don't remember what it smells like. I am a gingery person, so I can't necessarily agree or disagree on that particular scent. What I can say is that my history with Goldfield and Banks has been kind of 50-50. There's some that I like, and I haven't found one actually that I dislike, but I haven't found one either that really blew me away. Now it does have a decent amount of popularity on the interwebs, but personally, I can't back up that claim, but this isn't about me, it's about you. So that one might be a potential check on your spring list if it was already featured there. So hey, you never know, next one. Now do it effortless said Blue de Chanel. Parfum. Blue de Chanel Parfum. It's a little bit 
basic-ish, but it works. And you can absolutely pull it off in the springtime. It is a sexy sun profile, but I, I want a little bit more creativity out of you. Like, I don't know where you personally live, but there is a chance that somebody else might smell like it. I mean, if you're like in the Midwest and shit, and these people will never spend that kind of money on a designer fragrance, like 100 or something dollars for a fucking perfume. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna, I get that aspect, but I don't know, I just want a little bit more creativity. Does it hit? Yes. Is it gonna get you compliments? Absolutely. Is it gonna be redundant to some? It can potentially be, depending where you are, what kind of circle you chill around, and if you're in that nightlife scene. Truth be told, there could be a ton of other people wearing Aventus and completely forgetting about Blue de Chanel, so you might be exclusive in that crowd. So yeah, it's a sexy spring set. Next one. Ah, King Noli picked the staple. Green? Iris Tweed by Cree. Perfection. I mean a fragrance that screams, that should be the billboard, the staple poster child of springtime. Green Iris Tweed should absolutely be that scent. Legendary scent. Legendary! If I do say so myself, that shit just hits absolutely different in the springtime. It is perfect. Green, the lemon verbena is absolutely gorgeous. I always compare it to the same analogy. Central Park after rainfall. This grassy, wet, sexy lemon verbena energy with this mild white tea kind of energy coming off of it. It's citric balanced in a beautiful way that isn't too sour, but it's effervescent and vibey. It's got a gorgeous energy and aura about it with this classical persona that absolutely embodies everything fucking spring. That shit is. Great choice, next one. Carl Anderson bringing back a classic with Mugler Cologne, the ultimate green body throwback fresh out of the shower scent. That shit is so clean smelling. It can be that signature versatile scent that has no age boundary at all. Fresh out of the shower, your pores are super opened up, you gotta wipe off the mirror because of all that hot burning sensation that you are scrubbing in the shower. Or if you're like me, you take a shower, soap up your entire body, turn the water off, and just marinate in your own juices with that soap. But Mugler Cologne is a gem. Easy to wear, and surprisingly enough, it has a decent amount of Neroli, but something about that scent works very very nicely off my skin. That's probably one of the few fragrances with proper Neroli. That not only do I pull off, but I can actually compliment, so maybe I do like Neroli. No, never, next one. Now, Key Sense brought up another, mm, gem, Nishane's Ooh, Lang Sha. That's inappropriate, I'm sorry. The perfect tea fragrance? Is that, I would, do I dare call it that? So for me, it's not just the tea note in this fragrance. It's the earthiness coming from the musk and the fig. That joint smacks off my skin. No offensive quality, gorgeously different. And it's got everything that embodies spring. Fresh, citrus, tea notes which give it a little bit of a herbal lightness to this fragrance but then at the base you got that musk being an overpowering like staple just keeping it adhered to the skin and then you got that earthy slightly sweet fig essence that you can almost smell like the little seed center core of that fig i still think that fragrance is underrated as fuck and in the gray market price and you can find it decently priced i wouldn't deprive yourself of trying that fragrance it's really that good next one now throwing darts and breaking hearts mentioned Parfums de Marley Greenly. And I think Greenly is another one that you hit right on the head absolutely for the springtime. For me, it's all about that petty grain cedar combination in that fragrance that really stands out. Supposedly, it's supposed to have an apple essence as well as that musky nuance with a little bit of like an amber flow. Eh, cedar wood, petty grain, floral, light, white florals, very bright, invigorating with elements of green. What the hell that green is, I don't really know. But it is a handsome office safe scent profile that you can absolutely wear for that month and a half of spring that you have and definitely pulls off a handsome light musky green and white floral scent profile it's good but not amazing next one and finally ls merchant services finished it off with a bang with underrated in no video they'll find it voyage de hermes pure parfum he's like hands down the best spring scent that there is what a throwback that whole lineup, not specifically the parfum concentration, but the Voyage de Hermes was really like a mini yacht party in a bottle. Such a good scent. Just hits right. 
not overly complicated, has some basic essences, but in the grand scheme of things, like these are fragrances that are gonna get you compliments. These are fragrances that are catered to the warmer weather. And that one was just beautifully done. That one also is like a tea style fragrance, but with ambery nuances. I have that in my collection somewhere. I have the Parfum and the original joint and it's just good. It just hit crazy, but I don't think it ever got the hype people really anticipated it to have because it's just kind of an uncomplicated fragrance that does well. Probably not the easiest scent profile to find because usually when it doesn't have crazy hype or whatever, it's either at the bottom of the barrel of the discounters or just discontinued in its entirety. But now you bringing that up, it's gonna make me try to look for that piece. And these are 10 sexy springtime fragrances chosen by you guys. Check the community board often as I will put up questions for video topics that y'all guys can participate in. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Leave your favorite signature springtime scent in the comments below, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you